We know that the Detroit Lions general manager, Brad Holmes, loves to think outside the box when it comes to the Detroit Lions going to the CFL to bring in Defensive Player of the Year, Matthew Betts. Well, he just might have found the next Detroit Lion who currently plays for the Michigan Panthers, and that is kicker Jake Bates. Now, if you did not know, the UFL kicked off today and the Michigan Panthers were the second game of the doubleheader, and this dude... The Michigan Panthers were down by two. Battlehawks had just scored with 49 seconds to go. Now, although the quarterback for the Michigan Panthers make David Blau look like uh, Patrick Mahomes, the kicker is who we are talking about today. Jake Bates hits a 64-yard field goal walk-off for the, the, I can't want to call them Detroit Lions, for the Michigan Panthers to get their first win of the season. And the game was at Ford Field. Shout out to everybody that went down there to see that game. I really want to start supporting these guys because... The USFL played a huge part in what the NFL has now become. And this is, although the NFL doesn't have, have a developmental league, this is as close to it as you'll get. Now, here's the kicker. Jake Bates had not kicked a field goal since high school. He was born in 2000. As a matter of fact, today is his birthday. He was born 3-30-2000. So he is 24 years old and he kicks a 64-yard field goal. Had not kicked a field goal in a game since high school, which you had to imagine was at least six or seven years ago. So Jake Bates, you can probably see it. And the XFL, the UFL said it the best. A star is born. And I made it a, a kind of a parody of it on Twitter. I said, hey. Hey, this is Brad Holmes with the Detroit Lions. You ready to be a lion? We need to call this guy immediately. And as a matter of fact, he kicked a 64-yarder before a timeout was called, and he hit it. Now, obviously, this is UFL talent, right? But still, if you put that in the NFL, you would have to say it would be good for it from at least if you bring the talent, like the defensive line talent or the special teams line talent from the NFL, you put it to the UFL you would have to say that he could at least hit a 54, 55 yarder. And if you remember, Badgley did kick a 50 plus yarder to help beat the LA Rams in that first playoff game. But one of the things that I don't know if we can trust is his leg when it comes to on, on a regular basis. So if I'm Brad Holmes, really, I, I assure you that this guy, Jake Bates, went from a nobody, having not having a kick the field goal since high school, to probably a lot of people he popped on a lot of NFL teams radar today. So I would love to see the Detroit Lions take a look at Jake Bates. I mean, what harm would it do? This is exactly what this league is for. There will be several players from this league that will be playing in the NFL next season. Maurice Alexander is a great example. He played for an XFL team. It might have been the Battle Hawks or something like that a few years ago and has spent time with the Detroit Lions. The Shepherd, I want to say his name is Darius Shepherd. Don't quote me on that. One of the receivers for the Battle Hawks was actually brought in in the, this past offseason by the Detroit Lions for a workout, but we wind up not signing him. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Go check it out, bro. This dude hit a 64 yarder twice. Having not having kicked a field goal in a game in at least six years. So ch check it out. Jake Bates. This is Brad Holmes with the Detroit Lions. You ready to be a lion? Brad Holmes wouldn't hurt. Get on the phone. Bring him in. Probably after the season is over, which will be sometime in July. I wouldn't mind seeing some friendly competition at kicker. Won't have to waste a draft pick on a kicker. Let's see how he plays out the rest of the season. But what a what a way to get on not only the the the, the team, the USFL, you, you helped the Michigan Panthers a walk-off win at home in front of the home crowd, but you went from zero to hero, and you popped on everybody's NFL radar after that kick, man. I wouldn't mind it at all. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you watch the opening season or the opening weekend of the USFL? Shout out to the Michigan Panthers who are 1-0 and after being in the championship game last year. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. This channel is brought to you by viewers, members, and subscribers just like you. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.